Now, I should tell you <laughs> that at this point, she's under the impression that you're a... Uh, a what? A marine biologist. <laughs> a marine biologist? Yes. Why am I a marine biologist? I may have mentioned it. But I'm not a marine biologist. <laughs> yes, I know that. Hey, hey, so you want these? I don't want them. <laughs> what? I stink! I can't play! The ball is just sitting there, Jerry, and I can't hit it. I only hit one really good ball that went way out there. Well, what happened? I have no concentration! <laughs> then, of course, with evolution, the octopus lost the nostrils and took on the more familiar look that we know today. <laughs> really? Yeah. But if you still look closely, you can see uh, a little bump where the nose used to be. <laughs> <laughs> but enough about fish. <laughs> I, I can discuss other things, you know. Uh, architecture. <laughs> Your parents must be so proud of you, George. Oh, they're busting. <laughs> What are those people doing over there? What's going on over here? There's a beached whale. She's dying. Is anyone here a marine biologist? <laughs> Save the whale! Hey, let's do it! Save the whale, George. For me. So I started to walk into the water. I won't lie to you, boys. I was terrified. But I pressed on. And as I made my way past the breakers, a strange calm came over me. I, I don't know if it was divine intervention or the kinship of all living things, but I tell you, Jerry, at that moment, I was a marine biologist. George, I've just been reading this thing in the paper. It's unbelievable. I know, I was just telling them the story. Well, come on, George, finish the story. The sea was angry that day, my friends. <laughs> like an old man trying to send back soup in a deli. <laughs> I got about 50 feet out, and suddenly, the great beast appeared before me. I tell you, he was 10 stories high if he was a foot. As if sensing my presence, he let out a great bellow. I said, easy, big fella. <laughs> and then, as I watched him struggling, I realized that something was obstructing its breathing. From where I was standing, I could see directly into the eye of the great fish. Mammal. Whatever. <laughs> hey, what, what did you do next? Well, then, from out of nowhere, a huge tidal wave lifted me tossed me like a cork, and I found myself right on top of him, face to face with the blowhole. I, I, I could barely see from the waves crashing down upon me, but I knew something was there. So I reached my hand in, felt around, and pulled out the obstruction. must have gone wild. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, Jerry, they were all over me. It was like Rocky won. <laughs> Diane came up to me, threw her arms around me, kissed me. We both had tears streaming down our faces. I never saw anyone so beautiful. It was at that moment that I decided to tell her that I was not a marine biologist. Wow. What'd she say? Told me to go to hell, and I took the bus home. All right, let's go.